Welcome to the Civil Services YouTube channel, your veritable gold mine of information and knowledge. This channel is dedicated to providing comprehensive content to those who are keen on broadening their knowledge horizons. Our offerings range from insightful discussions on various topics, illuminating interviews with subject matter experts, to engaging quizzes that test your knowledge and comprehension. Today we take you on a virtual tour of the picturesque landscapes and historic sites of Jammu and Kashmir. Question 1. Which hill station in Jammu and Kashmir is often referred to as Mini Switzerland? Is it A. Gulmarg, B. Pahalgam, C. Sonmarg or D. Patnetop? Take a moment to think, the answer is A. Gulmarg, known for its stunning meadows and skiing slopes. Question 2. The famous Dal Lake is located in which city? Is it A. Jammu, B. Srinagar, C. Leh or D. Kargail? The answer is B. Srinagar, the summer capital of Jammu and Kashmir. Question 3. Where can you find the world's highest green golf course? A. Gulmarg, B. Pahalgam, C. Leh or D. Srinagar? The answer is A. Gulmarg, a golfer's paradise, at an altitude of around 2,650 meters. Question 4. Which place in Jammu and Kashmir is known as the Valley of Shepherds? A. Gulmar, B. Pahalgam, C. Sonmark or D. Patnitop? The answer is B. Pahalgam, a tranquil town that offers breathtaking views. Question 5. Which fort in Jammu and Kashmir is often referred to as the Fort of the Goddess? A. Hari Parbat Fort, B. Bahu Fort, C. Aknor Fort or D. Ramnagar Fort? The answer is B. Bahu Fort a historic site that dates back to 3,000 years. Following up on our questionnaire, let's delve a bit deeper into the seasonal capitals of Jammu and Kashmir, a unique feature that sets this region apart. Now for our second question, what is the capital of Jammu and Kashmir during winters? Is it A. Srinagar, B. Jammu, C. Leh or D. Anantnag? Take a moment to think, the answer is B. Jammu. Unlike most states, Jammu and Kashmir has two capitals. Srinagar is the summer capital, which we discussed earlier, and Jammu is the winter capital. This seasonal shift of capitals is a tradition dating back to the 19th century Dogra rule and continues till today. Jammu, often referred to as the city of temples, is renowned for its diverse architecture, rich history and vibrant festivals. The city's winter climate is mild and pleasant, making it an ideal time for tourism. The city comes alive with festivities during the winter, particularly during the Lori and Makar Sankranti celebrations. In the next part of our tour, we will explore more about the state's cultural heritage and natural beauty. Stay tuned. As we continue our journey through Jammu and Kashmir, let's turn our attention to the state's water bodies, which are not just geographical features, but also integral parts of the local culture, economy and way of life. Now for our third question, which lake in Jammu and Kashmir is known as the jewel in the crown of Kashmir? Is it A. Dal Lake, B. Wola Lake, C. Manasbal Lake, or D. Pangong TSO? Take a moment to think. The answer is A. Dal Lake. Dal Lake is not just a lake, it's a way of life. The lake is the second largest in the state and is integral to tourism and recreation in Kashmir. It's named the Jewel in the Crown for its undeniable beauty and charm. The lake is also an important source for commercial operations in fishing and water plant harvesting. The iconic houseboats and shikaras make it a unique experience for visitors. The lake, with its floating gardens and markets, is a world of its own. In the next part of our tour, we will explore the historic Bahu Fort. Stay tuned! As we bid adieu to the mesmerizing Dal Lake, let's shift our focus to the urban landscapes of Jammu and Kashmir. The state is home to many bustling cities, each with its own unique charm and significance. Now for our fourth question, which is the largest city of Jammu and Kashmir? Is it A. Srinagar, B. Jammu, C. Anantnag or D. Udhampur? Take a moment to ponder. The answer is A. Srinagar. Srinagar is not only the largest city, but also the summer capital of Jammu and Kashmir. Known for its stunning natural beauty, historic gardens, waterfronts and houseboats, Srinagar is often referred to as the Venice of the East. It's a city where modernity and tradition coalesce, offering visitors a unique blend of old world charm and contemporary comforts. Next up, we will be visiting the historic Bahu Fort. Stay with us for more intriguing insights. As we leave the bustling cities behind, let's shift our focus upwards towards the towering peaks that crown this beautiful state. Jammu and Kashmir is a paradise for mountaineers with its majestic mountain ranges that include some of the highest peaks in the world. Now for our fifth question, which is the highest peak in Jammu and Kashmir? Is it AK2, B Nanga Parbat, C Non Peak or D Saser Kangri? 
take a moment to think. The answer is AK2. Standing at an impressive height of 8,611 meters, K2 is the second highest mountain in the world, surpassed only by Mount Everest. Known as the Savage Mountain due to the extreme difficulty of ascent, K2 is a symbol of challenge and adventure. It's a testament to the indomitable spirit of explorers who dare to conquer its heights. Next, we will be exploring the historic Bahu Fort. Stay tuned for more fascinating facts. We've scaled the heights, now let's dive into the depths of the mesmerizing lakes of Jammu and Kashmir. This region is home to some of the most beautiful and largest freshwater lakes in India, providing an aquatic counterpoint to the towering mountains. Now, time for our sixth question. Which is the largest freshwater lake in India located in Jammu and Kashmir? Is it Ada Lake, Bihular Lake, Simanasbal Lake or Deepangong TSO? Take a moment to think. The answer is B. Wula Lake. Spanning an impressive area of about 189 sqkm, Wula Lake is not only the largest in India but also one of the largest freshwater lakes in Asia. This marvel of nature is a vital part of the region's ecosystem and a haven for a wide variety of bird species. After exploring these breathtaking lakes, we will move towards the historic Bahu Fort. Stay tuned. After relishing the natural splendor of the lakes, Let's steep ourselves in the rich history and architecture of Jammu and Kashmir. The state is renowned for its meticulously maintained Mughal gardens, which are a testament to the region's grand past. With their terraced lawns, cascading fountains and bright flower beds, these gardens are an epitome of Mughal horticulture. Now let's move to our seventh question, which is the famous Mughal garden in Srinagar. Is it A. Shalimar Bagh, B. Nishad Bagh, C. Chashme Shahi or D. All of the above? Take a moment to think. The answer is D, all of the above. Yes, all these gardens are the jewels of Srinagar, each offering a unique experience of tranquility and beauty. With this, we have covered the enchanting lakes and the regal Mughal gardens. Now, let's head towards the historic Bahu Fort. Stay tuned as we make our way towards the historic Bahu Fort. Let's delve into an important aspect of Jammu and Kashmir that attracts millions of devotees from around the globe its prominent pilgrimage sites. The state is a melting pot of diverse religions and cultures, each with its sacred spots of worship. So here's question 8 for you. Which is the famous pilgrimage site in Jammu? Is it A. Vaishno Devi, B. Amarnath, C. Hazrat Bal Shrine or D. Shankaracharya Temple? Take a moment to think. The answer is A. Vaishno Devi. Nestled in the Trikuta Hills, the holy shrine of Vaishno Devi is a beacon of faith and spirituality. Each year, it witnesses an influx of devotees seeking blessings and solace. Now, let's continue our journey towards the Bahu Fort. Keep watching as there's more to explore. As we leave the sacred grounds of Vaishno Devi and make our way towards the conclusion of our virtual tour, let's take a detour into the wild heart of Jammu and Kashmir. The state's diverse terrain is home to a rich variety of wildlife, preserved and protected in several sanctuaries and national parks. So here's question 9 for you. Which is the famous wildlife sanctuary in Jammu and Kashmir? Is it A. Dachigam Wildlife Sanctuary, B. Kishtwar National Park, C. Hemis National Park or D. Kazanag National Park? Take a moment to think. The answer is A. Dachigam Wildlife Sanctuary. Nestled in the Zabawan range, this sanctuary is a haven for the endangered Hangul or Kashmiri stag and a plethora of other species. This wild side of Jammu and Kashmir is as captivating as its cultural heritage. Now, let's head towards the conclusion of our journey. Stay with us as we wrap up this enlightening virtual tour. As we draw closer to the end of our virtual tour, let's take a moment to appreciate the flowing lifelines of Jammu and Kashmir, the rivers. These rivers are not just sources of water, but they also play a significant role in the state's economy and culture. So here's the final question for you. Which is the famous river in Jammu and Kashmir? Is it A. Jhelum, B. Chenab, C. Indus or D. Tawi? Take a moment to think. The answer is A. Jhelum. Originating from the Verinag Spring, the river Jhelum is an integral part of the region's history and culture, flowing serenely through Srinagar and hosting the iconic houseboats. These rivers, in their own unique ways, add charm to the already enchanting landscape of Jammu and Kashmir. Stay tuned as we wrap up this incredible journey through one of India's most beautiful states. We have covered a lot today, from the verdant meadows of Gulmarg to the serene waters of Dal Lake, from the lofty golf course of Gulmarg to the tranquil Pahalgam, and finally, the historic Bahu Fort. 
We hope this virtual tour has ignited a spark of curiosity in you about the rich cultural heritage and natural beauty of Jammu and Kashmir. Remember, knowledge is power and there is no end to learning. So, keep exploring, keep learning and keep growing. Don't forget to hit the bell icon for regular updates from our channel. Until next time, stay curious and stay informed.